Hello neighbors and welcome back to Corbellic's Neighborhood. I'm Corbellic. In this episode, I'm gonna be taking you guys to the main compound, to the first thing that I built when I started this map four years ago. So let's get this thing going. Let's leave the spawn area right now. As you can see, I put a glass pane right there because you'd be surprised, some people don't actually know how to get in minecarts and they would kind of mess my system up and push more minecarts down and I would have a thousand minecarts all built up. So anything you do, you stand right here, get in the minecart and automatically takes off for you. Now I have a dispenser back there that pushes out another minecart so that how many other people come to my world, they could just get in the minecart and they'll take you. Now, as you can see here, we're underground, underwater. I built this all on survival. This is all legit. This is the first tunnel that I built. Just so I could get an idea of what Minecraft was about and, and all the different possibilities. Don't you hate when you're coming to one of your buddy's maps or you're coming to a friend's map and then you have to look in your map and you figure out that you're 20 miles away from where everybody's at? That's why I created this, just to make it convenient to the main area of Corbellic's neighborhood. This is my map right here, uh, just a printout of it. But for me to be working alone on the Xbox 360, then converted to the Xbox One, everything's fully furnished, that's not bad. That's 40% of a map done. And I didn't blow it up to the really large size, the one that's 15 times bigger and all of that stuff. I, I kept everything vanilla. I kept everything the same from how I received it. I used to do a lot of cooking down here. You see, I still even have lava buckets. <laughs> I used to do a lot of my uh, crafting down here. Look how small it is. But this is the best thing that I want to show you guys. Look at that. Bum, bum, bum. That's the west wing right there. And that's the east wing of the mansion. Believe it or not, I did not build this. I mean, of course, there's a lot of restoration that's on it. There's a lot of things that I've you know, touched up with creative mode. But as far as the whole structure itself, I did not build it. It was a mountain. So this way you could take a look of areas around my neighborhood, get an idea. <laughs> Before you ask, when people ask me, I tell them that the uh, wife got upset with him and put a pickaxe in his head. <laughs> this is the first craft table that I ever did. I swam all the way from over there, from our spawn area. Like I said, I didn't change the spawn area. I didn't change anything. I swam all the way over here and I seen the mountain that was there and I liked what I saw and I started my crafting table right there. I figured that was going to be a good spot. And you can see even the Golden Gate Bridge from here in comparison to size to the last video. But uh, let's get this going over here. Today's video, we're just going to be showing the east wing, hopefully I can get through all of it without stretching out the video, making it too long. Uh, we have a sign here, train, train station orange is over there. Uh, Corbella Cottage is all the way on the west side of the map. Uh, Corbellic Manor is right there, uh, which is the east and west wing. Treehouse Village is behind this wall right here. As we walk up, you can see that I like topography, meaning that I like land that is elevated higher or lower. It just makes it look real. It's better than super flats to me. I think it feels more organic. So let's walk up to the main compound. Built on survival mode, west and east wing mansion. Carved out mountain created by Corbellic. I even put cake here for myself because I was so proud. I wanted to be like the PC guys who other people come around to their server and they wanted to salute them or give them a shout out. I put a camera here just so I could see who's coming in and out. Uh, Glasswork has my logo, the C in white, as you can see right there. Now let's walk in. Like I said, I try to pay attention to the ceiling work. Um, just a little bit of Let's see here, these are trap trap doors. I called it uh, gates on my last video, but they're trap doors. Chandelier to match my favorite colors, which is my logo. Underneath my logo is I, uh, a subway system. Like I said, I have 32 stops around the whole world that takes you to point A, point B, and even back around on itself. This is just so you can get some ideas. Some people say these doors are old school, and that might be true, but I like them. They work, they're convenient, and they're reliable. Um, if you ever have a mob outside or anything or any friends outside that you don't want in, you just lock the door on them. 
You can't come in. Huh. Lock the door on them. Unlock. I even did the same with the back door. So this is just the lounge area. I like suspension tables like that. That's a pretty cool design. Come this way. And you can see this is where we came in at. When I build things, I like to have a lot of, um, I like to have some room where I can actually move around the objects that I build. I don't like where people build things and the desk is up against the wall so you can't move around it. It just, um, you know, I at least want to have one block open so that you can move around it and you can see the details. This is the second floor lobby. I put a diamond cross zigzag design on the ceilings with a beacon in the middle of it for, for lighting. Also did a little fireplace here, but I put stone above it so it doesn't catch the gray wool on fire because most of this building is gray wool. A little office area. You come in here, you can see there's a little closet, wash clothes. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you the east wing. And then on the next video, we will be going on the other side of the uh, compound, which is the west wing. Over here, I try to have everything glass because I remember when I first started on this mountain, there was a big hole that went all the way to the top. So I kind of ran with it and worked with that as one of my first designs as I kind of created the hole to go all the way to the top and um, work around it. This is another bedroom, but you can see it's a crisscross design on the ceiling. I have a walk-in closet right here, um, some shelves, water cooler. What's in this chest right here? A couple things. One of the main things that made me fall in love with Minecraft was just the ability to look outside and see all the hard work and, and, and different things that you put in to your world or to the neighborhood. Uh, I mean, the thing that made it beautiful for me is just knowing that the items that I'm looking at, they're not just empty shells. They're not just buildings, but they're, they actually have furniture inside. They actually have um, a living and breathing world. My world does have it, it is set on normal. It does have mobs. It does have creepers. It has all of that stuff. So I, I do have it have to incorporate lighting into a lot of my designs so you can see like even lighting right here where I put a carpet on top of a uh, either a glowstone or a beacon this is a office area glass there just to divide it you can see I got some some filings let's go this way I think I have two more offices this way I like this office design the reason I like this one is just because it has this scion glass behind it and you can see who comes in and who comes out or who's coming upstairs and who's coming down. So I like that. There's another one right here. I think this is his assistant. Yeah, he has a filing right there. Basic computer. I just put the um, skeleton head backwards. Go through this hallway right here and then they have a break room. Like I said, when it comes to the kitchen design, I really like to, to use the, the doors. I really like that only if I have enough space below, like one block below where I could put one. And then, you know, have some microwaves right there, a seating area. This is where people take their lunch at. I like the ceiling design that I put on here too, where it's basically a half slab. And then I put a space, a half slab space right there just to give it some flare where poke holes in it, just something different. And this is the penthouse. This is the top floor right here. This is the penthouse. Give it a little bit of privacy with uh, some glass. <laughs> I have flower beds on the side here. I have a lighting beacon right there. And like I said, look at the, look at the hole. It goes all the way down to the front lobby, all the way down to the front lobby. So you see all the way up. So here, while I'm mining and getting dirty and doing all this hard work, people are up here playing video games. Can you believe these guys? They got a jacuzzi up here. My jacuzzi recently froze over with a new update. It, it used to be free flowing water, but I guess like the biome changed and it made it more cold right there. So it kind of froze the water up. Sorry about that, fellas. This is my rooftop. What's a rooftop without a helicopter? Without a helicopter pad? And a bed inside of it. Sometimes in the summertime it gets really hot. 
and the east wing so i put these um air conditioner vents right there and this is the um east wing take a look at the backyard just a quick snippet of the neighborhood we have plenty of things to show Thanks for coming to the neighborhood. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the rest of your day. Subscribe, put a like, or even comment what you didn't like below. I'm excited to show you guys what's in store inside the West Wing part of the mansion that's right behind me and everything else that's in Corbellix neighborhood. So until then, I'll see you next time.